Well, now, two young innovators have made Nama City proud by winning a national level competition and also represented India at the United States. Meet 13 year old Saad. At a time when most kids love to play video games and spend time watching television, this bright young spark is busy in coming up with ideas about colonizing the moon. Well, many kids fantasize about becoming an astronaut and exploring the space. But this 13-year-old who does not go to school but is entirely self-taught at home has come up with a brilliant idea about making satellite launch vehicles reusable. Well, his idea is to launch a rocket not from the ground in the conventional manner but from a plane high up in the skies. When his idea was assessed by the experts, it was found that this could reduce the cost of launching rockets into space substantially besides making the satellite launch vehicles available for reuse. Normally launch vehicles don't get reused for many reasons, one being that um, they, need, they have such a high um, fuel to mass ratio that there's very little um, mass left over for a deep uh, thermal protection system which is required for if you want to re-enter and land again. Mm -hmm. So um, my approach uses, um, so you actually have, think a user, like the thing actually has v wings mm -hmm. so and a jet engine, a ramjet. Um, so it can actually um, propel itself to um, a high altitude, a very high speed. This young kid also knows several computer languages like C, C++, Java and Perl. When many engineering students struggle to learn these computer languages in their graduation years, this 13-year-old loves to learn and master them. Apart from reusable satellite launch vehicles, the idea that won the award was for using wind energy to charge your mobile phone. So how many of you have been exasperated and moved to tears because your smartphone's battery is dying out? Well, 14-year-old Harish Kumar from Bengaluru feels that he has an innovative answer to this problem. It is very interesting how the idea to charge his mobile phone using wind energy actually struck him. So when I was there in the marriage hall, my battery became critically low. Mm -hmm. I started looking around for a socket to charge my phone, but I could not even find a single one. I found two, three of them, but they were not functional. But I saw that there were so many fans around. Mm -hmm. So that time I got this idea that is it possible for me to charge a mobile phone with the help of wind power? A student of Delhi Public School, Harish has an outstanding academic record and the number of certificates and medals he has won at this young age is a testament to that. For winning the Science Innovation Competition at the national level, the duo represented India at the Broadcom Masters International Innovation Competition that was held in the US, where they got to rub shoulders with other young innovators from around the world. Honestly, uh, the cusp of where uh, if you catch them early enough and excite them and build the interest level in science and technology, middle school is considered the right sweet spot where the interest level in science and technology can be captured well and aroused the most. And from there on, uh, you know, there's enough research out there that says those middle school, school students become quite innovative and they pursue a complete career in science and technology. With young innovators like this representing India at the international level, the scene of science and innovation in our country seems to be ever brighter. Mohammad Saleh for News 9, Bengaluru.